Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting my channel. Today, based on the title, I'm going to be showing you how I create my female sims from start to finish. So I just picked a randomized sim. And my first step is to delete everything so I have more of a base to go from or start off of. So I'm just going to get rid of all the clothes. And usually I start off with either the eyebrows, the lips, or the eyes. But in this case, we're just going to find some natural looking eyebrows. Because I might change them as I go about creating the sim. So usually my go-to eyebrows are either by Praline Sims or... Gopples, M-E, I'm not sure to how to pronounce it, but it's G-O-P-P-O-L-S-M-E. And I like those eyebrows because they're so natural looking, you know. So I'm going to go to the lips. Now, if you see my Sims, if you watch my videos, you know I use full lips. I make the lips full. That is just how I prefer my sims to look so my go-to lips are just any full lips like yeah I use base game lips but you know I use sliders to make them how I want them so you click it and I kind of like angle them so she's not smiling she's not frowning it's just like you know slightly up then I use the slider so with teen moon's lip slider you go to the side corner which I guess if you're looking at the screen, it's the left side of the lips or the right. Whichever way you look at sis, it's on this side. So you pull it in and you make them bigger. Now, of course, the nose does not look right all the way going down to the lips. So we're going to find some different. No we're going to find a different nose. Um. Okay, so this one's okay. You take. Now, to make the face more proportional, you need to sort of play around with the size of the lips, the size of the nose. So, looking, I don't think the nose is very proportionate to the lips as of right now, just in my opinion. Some people want the nose to be real slim, but I'm going to pull the nose out more. Just a little bit. Then I like play around with the nostril size. So some, sometimes I like play around with the size of the nostrils. But I think that's okay for right now. So eyes. Um, now in my mail, how I create my mail sims video. I explained how I only use one eye shade. So I use the eyes are in face paint under makeup. So you will go to whatever eyes you want. As you can see, I have a you know several different types of eyes, but my go-to and my favorite is Water Eyes N100 by Praline Sims. And I usually go for a brown, you know, usually this is my go-to, you know, a uh, light brown, sometimes a dark brown. So it really doesn't matter. It'll depend on what skin I'll end up using and what looks right. So I'll go to the eyes. Next, I'll pick some eyeliner. Now, I don't know why this is just my uh, setup. This is the way I do it. This is my process. I'll pick the eyes and then I'll go straight to makeup. I don't even pick the skin yet. Sometimes I'll pick the skin before the makeup, but this is just like my process. If you watch all my videos, even though that they're sped up, you can see that I always go nose, lip or lip, nose, eyes, makeup. Like that's my process. So basically I like to make her look good before I actually figure out how I want her to look. If that makes sense at all, you know, 
So I use this eyeliner by Praline Sims and this is my go-to eyeliner. Well, it's not really an eyeliner. Let me correct myself. It's a mascara. So basically it's like she has a bottom mascara and a top mascara. So next thing after I put the mascara on, I'm going to find some eyelashes. Now I don't know what I'm going to have her look like, but my go-to eyelashes are Brandy Sims eyelashes, then I really like these eyelashes. I'm not sure what they're called. I'm going to either link it or it's going to be in a folder, but it's by Graham Sims. And I just like them. They're like thick. They don't look too wild. They're not too big. You know, they just look natural and I really like them. I also like um, Dream Girl. These eyelashes by Dream Girl are very cute, very natural, not too wild. So... Once I kind of just pick some lashes, I uh, adjust the eyes just a little bit. Sometimes I want the eyes a little bit bigger or smaller. doesn't matter. I'll pull on them, move them together. You know, it's really more so practicing and playing around with it. So, okay, so the eyebrows I already picked. But what I'll do next is I'll pick... A lipstick or a gloss or whatever so my go-to lip glosses are by praline sims and it's called a more it came in her um, e-girl pack all again I'll list it but they're just very natural looking it's a very natural looking lip shade then I recently downloaded this lip gloss I do not remember who it's by, but it's like, it's like a pure gloss look. Very natural gloss look. Now, of course, if you watch my other videos, the other glosses I use are by Slephora and Vain. I'm not sure. These lip glosses are by Slephora, but I also use these other lip glosses by Vain. Here, so these are my other go-to lip glosses. Now, for a while, I was using Wet Collection by Vain a lot in my videos. If I can find it, yes. So these, this lip gloss by Vain. So my lip glosses are my go-to lip glosses are by Vain, Slephora, and Praline Sims. I'm gonna pick. A different shade of the lip gloss I think I'm gonna just go with this wait no this okay so sometimes I usually pick the eyeshadow but the only eyeshadow that I use usually is by Elena Lena and this one right here is my favorite I think it's called Taryn Eyeshadow Palette. But I use this middle one. And if you, you if you go to my female CC list, I have all my go-to CC on the list. But after we got the eyeshadow, eyelashes, the lip gloss, the nose, the lips, then we're going to find us a skin. So... Let's find a skin together. Um, I you, I want to find something I don't usually use, cause I feel like I use the same skins over and over. So let's find something different. Okay, I haven't used this skin in my videos before. I've used the skin before, but not in my videos. So, we're going to try this one out. I've recorded a video similar to this before. I might, I might post it, but it's like all over the place. So, I feel like this is a lot more concise. So, let's... Let's go back to the skin to see if we can find more shades of it. Here we go. 
Okay, so some of them you can't use the eyeshadow with. I like this one. So we need to put some edges down. My go-to edges are by Diverse King. They're called Royal Edges. And it's this one. Real sleek, slick, not too crazy. Then let's go find us some hair. Um, this is super, this is really cute. Um, if you need some more hair, I'm gonna link my female urban female hair CC video in the description. But Okay, so I'm about to look at the body presets that I have. So I might do a whole separate video on body presets. But honestly, I only use like three or four out of all of the ones I have. Because some of them look funny. But I like this slim. I think it's called Slim Thick by Kiko Vanity. If you watch my videos, you could tell I use this one. For the most part for all of them and then I'll just use sliders and adjust it to make it look different and I forgot who made this preset right here but I use this one too only because these look more natural they don't look funny like y'all know that some of the presets look a little funny when you put them on the sim so we're just gonna go with the slim thick one by Kiko Vanity because that's just my go-to and I'm, sh I'm showing y'all my process. So, I don't know if I want her to be super slim, thicker. Who knows? You just got to play around with it. Whatever you prefer. So, I'm going to just make the thighs a little bigger. The hips just a little wider. Waist a little wider. So, these are all sliders. And... The videos that I've posted that included the folder, I list all the sliders I use. So if you want all of them, you got to go back to the folders and look through them and download them because it's a lot of them. But um, sometimes I just, you know, make the top of the arms a little thicker because I don't want her to look super muscular. I want it to be proportionate. So I make the forearms just a little bit bigger. Okay, so in my male, how I create my male sims video, I make the male sims feet bigger, but sometimes, not all the time, I'll make the female sims feet just a little smaller. Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. So the chest, I usually pull up, you know, just a little bit. Nothing real, real crazy. Put them up, just, you know. Um, now sometimes I'll like keep playing around, keep playing around with it, but sometimes if I'm satisfied with the way the body looks, I'll go ahead and just find some clothes, but I want to, um, show y'all some tattoos that I have. I have a lot that I don't even touch. You know, I feel like I downloaded a folder that contained a bunch of different tattoos and I don't even use half of them but uh it's like a tattoo for like cleavage that you can use if you want like the illusion of cleavage but I don't know if it's gonna show okay it's not gonna show on the skin but basically I just wanted to show y'all like uh I forgot who it was by Okay, Praline. It's called Cleavage Overlay Set. And, like, I think this skin already comes with, like, a cleavage, as you can see. But if you want an illusion of a cleavage and you're using a skin that doesn't have it, then use that. But I kind of like this little Chinese tattoo going up her neck, so I'm going to keep it. I just clicked it because I wanted to see what the cleavage was called. But I guess we're going to keep it. Um... Now, everybody's been commenting, commenting, 
and asking me to post my clothes folder and let me tell you if you look I have a thousand files in my clothes folder so it's gonna take me a, a little minute to post my female clothes I might I might not do it I might not do the whole thing I might do it in sections like full body or like paint I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna do it somebody asked me not just one person several people have asked me and I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it because there's so many and I, and I have a couple things that I don't have the meshes for like for instance this I don't even have the mesh for it so I gotta go through and figure it out but um let's find some full body clothes let's look in full body What is this? Oh, this is cute. I think this is by Batty Sims or whatever. Um, yeah, it is. The most Machino collection. This is cute, though. I'm just, you know, showing y'all my process. I'm not about to uh, go through all my clothes. I'm just going to uh, find something cute and go with it. Now, lately, I've been using this little lip liner by um let me look to see who it's by complex no savage it's by savage sims and it just honestly when you see it it makes the lips look more it gives the lips more depth depth um yeah now i like the more subtle brown look because i feel like the darker brown makes it look too lined up so yeah we're gonna go with that so let's find some shoes to match this little you know little chill set I don't really even know what to call it like but I would either use some I would either put on some slides or some sandals maybe some tennis shoes but let's just look to see what will look right um, these little Dior slides are by um, Kai Gross and I don't think I've ever actually used them I think I used them twice but I want to find something I haven't really used before or you know it's I have so many shoes and it's like I use the same ones all the time I need to look through and find something different Um, let's find some slides. These Fendi slides are by Div Diverse King. Diverse King. I like them. It's like a little, you know, chill at home outfit. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, next, since her belly button is out, we're going to put a ring in it. So... I have three rings. Version one, two, and four by Indy Sim. My favorite one is version two. It's like a um, glow in a dark color. The other ones are just basic diamonds, but um, it's so cute. Okay, so I like the the yellow belly button ring with the yellow on the slide. So we're gonna go with that. Um, next I'm gonna put some nails on her she needs some um she needs some uh nails i have a good amount of nail options but if i want something very natural and neutral i use these nails by kai gross and just a basic white french tip now if i want to go crazy i use you know I recently downloaded these nails by, um, I think, by Polar Simmer. That's the name. And they're, like, long. Um, I'm going to just show y'all a couple of them. Uh, these French tips by Kiko Vanity, they're a little bit longer, too. There's some nails that are, like, long but not too crazy. Then I really like these jelly nails by ND Sim. These nails is super long right here. They're by Bipolar December 2. I really like these nails by Complex Sims right here, though. 
they're like long but i really like the color and the diamonds and stuff that's on them um these nails by madeline are cute i like these rings i, I forgot who the creator was for the rings but i usually will put some like rings on them with the nails it's just adds more to the look so i have some more nails up here i really like these nails by red redhead sims they're french tips but they're like stiletto shaped you know and then if you want to go really crazy the longest nails i have are these extendo nails by phone i forgot what the creator name was something arizona i put it in one of my folders but i'm gonna find it but uh they're super long they're called extendo and they are definitely extended so i'm just gonna you know just find and also if you don't want nothing real long it's some nails by praline sims called n21 and they're just like basic when you look at them it just look like some real short acrylics so i think i'm gonna just go with that nothing real crazy um now I think I want to put a necklace or something on her neck so um I have a good amount of necklaces I really like this necklace by Savage Sim it's called La Rosa but for this look I don't think this will work with this so we just want something real dainty and simple so I like this um necklace I'm, I don't remember who was by but this baby girl necklace is cute. I think this is perfect for the look. It's simple. So, now it seems like we got everything together. I want to go back and perfect the face. Now, that's what I'll end up doing at the end. Like, perfect the face, the body. Like, once we got all that look together, now let's go back to the face. So, let's go to blush. Well, cheeks. It's called cheeks. So, in makeup, go to cheeks. And I really like this highlighter. Don't remember who it's by. But it makes the skin glow right in the T-zone area. So under the cheeks and on the nose. A little bit in the middle of the forehead. Now I'm going to try to play with the lip gloss shades. Ugh. I like this one on her. I'm about to go and fix the lips a little bit. Um, I want the nose to be up a little bit more. Um, I kind of like her cheeks a little bit, uh, you know, out in the chin, just a little bit like this. I don't, now that I'm looking at the look, I don't know if I like the hair or not. Let's play around with some hair. If we don't find nothing better than this. Then we're just going to stick with this. But. Yes. So. This. Oh. Oh. A little slip. Okay. So. I really like this hair by. XX Black Sims. It's so. Sleek. And just cute. Now let's put some earrings on her. I didn't even realize we didn't put earrings on her. Let's just put on some real simple. I don't remember who created these. But they're diamond studded earrings. And it's a two hole earring. So yeah. Don't mind the slip y'all. Look I'm about to blur it out. Um, so I think that concludes how I create my female sims now I might do a part two or I might post my original video I did months ago but that's how I do it just real simple you know just got to take everything one step at a time sometimes you need to go back and fix stuff but let's name her so we're gonna go to the name generator now usually well not usually sometimes I'll have a name that I want to name the sim but for the most part I'll use the generator and I'll go through it and pick something 
that matches just either the vibe, the way they look, or all of them, you know? So, um, Brittany, come, I like, I like Kamila. I think that's cute. Okay, so let's pick a last name. The last names, I don't really care. Well, I do, but they don't matter as much as the first name because as long as it sounds right with the first name, then it's fine with me. But, uh, Kamila Turner, we're going to go with that, y'all. So, I'm going to briefly talk about my traits. I'm not going to go too into detail about the traits that I have, but, um, y'all already know the base game traits that come with the game but I really like this um you know I have a trait called sweet talker straight edge um self-absorbed naturally thick materialistic um I forgot who the creator was look y'all I'm just forgetting all the creators but of course I'm gonna put it in the description but when I first started downloading like extra traits, I downloaded a whole bunch from this one creator and I forgot the name. But um it was called um they made the Jamaican trait and then all of the um zodiac sign traits. So Aquarius, Aries, Aries, Pisces, Taurus, so, it does give your sim a different personality or trait, but I downloaded those. We're going to make her a Virgo. So, Virgos, let's read it. Virgos are the kings and queens of overthinking and trying their best to master everything, master everything, their talents. Okay. They're highly selective and love hard work. No, <laughs> they're highly selective and love hard when they do love. They don't like feeling as if they have settled and they always want the best. So that's what we're going to go with. So she's a Virgo who's who loves outdoors. And she's extra. So she's a Virgo that loves outdoors and she can be extra. And her aspiration is going to be actress. Okay, so that's it. We just create a female sim, start to finish. If you want to learn how to make a toddler, please let me know. I'll do that video. But thank you for watching. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe, and Bye.